Childerly and Doyle doesn't have the same ring to it as Bodhi and Doyle, and you'd have to be as old as me to know what that meant. But we are still dealing with the professionals, <laughs> dear professionals. However, today it's all about oh. geese. Uh -huh. oh, that's quite good. One more, one more. Ah! Uh -huh. Well, that's a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David, and a porky pig. <laughs> Jason, best known for his filming and hunting on the shooting show, is looking to bag his first ever goose. I came over, came over to shoot some grouse with the shooting show, and um... who? <laughs> what? Huh? So the situation is this: Paul's farmer friend has about 400 Canadas and grey lags landing on a 40-acre stubble field, and he wants them moved on to pastures new. With such a large area, it needs careful planning and manpower. Hence the gathering of this highly skilled bunch. Don't show any ducks, no pigeons, no crows, no nothing. Okay, concentrate on the geese because that's our point. Whole point of doing it is to control the geese. Mark your birds down if you can a bit as well. Mark them down. If you get any wounded geese, go and sort them out straight away. Lay them out and get back in your eye quick, okay? Right, everyone got steel, non-toxic? Yep. Right. Okay, right, let's get sorted out. So a dozen good shots are placed around the field margins and Paul and Jason head to the middle among some scrub with bales ready for hide building surrounding a small pond. Right then, Mr Doyle, you are on hide building. Can you put them where David is? On the edge there. We can just do it here. Do you think that three metres would make a difference? It was with my shooting, every, every little pace makes a difference. I've got back a bit. <laughs> this could get messy. <laughs> right, the wind's this oh, way. You have had high loads, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to borrow some? Yeah. <laughs> right, what I'm thinking, they're going to see that swing round and come back into the pattern out here. So I'm going to put it a little bit further out. Okay, and we might get them here as well. Yeah, and get them here as well, coming into it. To help us out, Mr Crow has lent Paul his UK shoot warehouse decoys, which have proved useful in previous excursions. We'll give these a go. There's a lot of reservoir pits around here. We've obviously a lot of, lot of uh, calendars and grey lags on, and um, they come on the ground, on the stubble, not a problem at all. But as soon as he drills uh, these two, two fields next door here, with wheat and rape, you know, just absolutely devastate the young shoots of the, uh, the corn coming up. So he just asked us, surround it and see what we can do. One big hit and then that'll stop them totally. Hope to shoot a few. There's been, like I say, there's been three, 300 on Friday. It's built up to like four or 500 yesterday and quite a few ducks as well. So we'll, we'll give it a go. Back in the hide, Jason explains what he's doing over in the UK. I'd spoken to Paul a number of times over the years and he'd always invited me across here if I was in the area. So I've come across to do some stalking with him tomorrow but the opportunity was there to shoot some geese this evening. And um, I've never shot geese actually. I've done a lot of shotgun shooting, shot, shot most species, but never had the opportunity to shoot geese, so I jumped at it. But no, it's, it's looking good. It's beautiful, beautiful September evening. So hopefully we'll get some sport in the next, next couple of hours. Even if we don't get geese, there's, there's lots of ducks flying around and Paul has given me permission to shoot them later on. I'm not allowed to shoot them right now, but um, we'll see how the evening goes. No, Jason, you've got plenty of time for ducks. Jason has recently given up his full-time job to develop his guiding and outfitting business. It's a big step and an exciting one. I'm on for having an adventure and doing as much shooting as I can and sharing it with as many people as I can. And I'm hoping to learn and develop throughout the journey and share it with other people and bring them along for the ride if they, if they want to come. I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> It's not long before we hear our first honks. There they are, boys! Hey! Birds fall to Scott on the opposite side of the field. They're going to come from that way, obviously, behind us. Scott worked One, for a long time two, with Paul, three. which apparently explains why he's so good with a shotgun and field craft. We do get a couple of geese mingling among the decoys. It shows the pattern's working. It also shows how keen the eyes of our two professional deer guides are. In this case, Scott messages Paul to point out our guests. Crawl out. Crawl out. Because he's used to crawling, isn't he? Yeah, but they'll see us. No, not too low. You crawl. I'll mm. cover you in case they attack. No, I'll crawl out. <laughs> Thank you. 
some of the groups are right up there and there's some bird scaring as well as bird shooting going on across the field. I think it's been a very difficult evening actually because no, not much wind, and um, yeah, they, they've, they're clever. Um, we've got 11, 12 guns out. Um, it's not a massive acreage, but we got that side flank. That side flank. We're in the middle next to a little pond. Um, they haven't come in from any other direction. They come the right direction, but they're high and they drop in, and they've been scooting around the edge of us. Everything sort of like maximum distance, pushing it to the to the limit. Um, and they're all crosses, so again, they're, I find them a little bit more difficult than something that's driven. Um, so it's tested our, our skills, and it, Jason? And, uh, but yeah, we've done all right, we shot one or two. Um, boys down the bottom there shot well on the corner there. Um, some of these boys, the trick with goose shooting is you know, be patient and, and let the high winds go by. It is like goose fever, they come and you hear them come in, you see them and see them and see them. And it is a classic when you get goose fever. You, get your chance and you, you blow it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your calling has made a difference tonight? I think uh, the key is to this sort of job is having a good call. Is that down to nasal cavity? I mean, No, size. Size matters. <laughs> no matter what they say, it's definitely all about size. Yeah, I think the geese are about, about finished now. I think we're probably uh, waiting to try and, try and get a couple of ducks, but... Calling me. <laughs> Good as a goose. <laughs> it's been eventful anyway, been a lot of name calling. It's a good couple of hours of sport and the final tally is 61 geese and two duck. It's been an effective management job and there's some eating to be had too. For more information about Paul's business, go to childerleysporting.co.uk and if you want to contact Jason, email jason at jdsporting.net.